can I introduce Donald Smith, a founding member of the Scottish Storytelling Forum and is the director of the Scottish International Storytelling Festival and Tracks. So Donald, if you'd like to come up here and tell us a story. And then after the break, can we be back here by time? 11.45. So over to Thank Donald. Thank you very much, Joanne. So I'm going to be quite focused here because I'm sure you're ready for this break. So, there was once a young fellow who was mad for stories. Everywhere there was storytelling going on, he was to be found, whether at the fireside Cayley, hanging out with the old, the workers, whatever it was, mad, hungry for stories. And one day somebody said to him, you know the old shepherd up the hill there? Do you, have you visited him? I said, no, no. Well, that very evening, he was on his way up the glen, away up the hill, and away high up there in the mountain was a little stone shepherd's bothy. The door was ajar, he went in, and there was an old fella by the fire. He welcomed him in, sit on down there. Tea was served, and he said, well, um, do you know any stories? Oh, said the old fella, maybe one or two. I might just know one or two stories. And bit by bit, he opened up one story after another. Local traditions, days of the old shearings, old legends of the glen. It began to pour out like the burn that streamed so vigorously down that valley. And on and on it went, and darkness fell around them, like here, really. And... <laughs> They suddenly began to think, oh, maybe it's time to head off home. So the young fella said, you know, thank you very, very much for that. He said, but I think really I'll, I'll have to head home now and maybe I could come to visit you again. Oh, that's just grand, said the old fella. You'll be most welcome. Now, he said, though, um, will you pay me for my story? The young fellow thought, oh, right, I am... Yes, no, of, of course, he said, of, of course. And he began to go into his pockets and found a key. And uh, I said, I'm not sure that I... No, no, says the old fellow, I don't want your money. Will you pay me for my story? And the old fellow just looked kind of baffled. Oh, well, says the old fellow... It'll just have to be, he said, for a year and a day, he said, you'll be a stag. And in a twinkling of an eye, the young fella was a stag. Tremendous antlers standing there in the hill. And you know, it was quite a bracing year. It was. Up and down and over the mountain, fighting off the competition, whatever. But living the whole life of the mountain for a whole year and a day until that exact spot, there he was on the path to the wee bothy. And the door was ajar and he knocked. And the old fellow came to the door and looked at him and said, I said, right, right. He said, so um, what do you think? Will you pay me for my story? And the old fellow just said, oh, well, he said, that's it. You'll have to be for a year and a day a salmon. Well, that was a slightly damper experience. But it was stimulating through the flash of the water and the gleam of the light and the great journey of the salmon down to the sea and back up to the mountains. And a year and a day to the very moment there he was on the path and the door. And the old fellow was at the door this time and he just looked at his eyes and he knew immediately. I said, well, he said, a year and a day, he said, is a raven. Ah, ah. Ark, the young fella was off and up through the skies, over all the glens and the hills and the towns and the valleys, and there in the far distance, sometime during that year, he noticed a wee village, a wee clachan, and there were people moving about. There'd been a wedding, and the dancing was winding down, and people were leaving. Ark, 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 down came the raven onto the chimney, the chimney at the side of the building where the old hearth side was, and settled there. Now down that chimney in the wee house, there were two old fellows, 
And they were swapping stories, you see. It got to that time of the day, story for a story, a dram for a dram. And just the night was winding down and it was time to think about going home. And one old fellow tamped his pipe and he turned to his companion over the hearth side and he said, well now, he said, will you pay me for my story? I will that, said the other old fellow, he says, for your storytelling, may heaven be your dwelling. And they shook hands and headed off into the night. Ah, said the young fellow, Raven, I have it now, the mason's word, in a year and a day, there he was back at the cottage, at the old bothy, and he was welcomed in, and the old fellow knew by the light in his eyes, he said, right, he said, will you pay me for my story? And the young fellow said, for your storytelling, may heaven be your dwelling. Excellent, said the old fella, I'm well paid. Let always, always remember the gift of the story. And for your storytelling, may heaven be your dwelling. And I think, friends, what the tradition is maybe telling us there, that nothing, nothing survives without the love of it. Thank you very much.